If I were a ghost, why not be here? Like, look at this gorgeous place. Will Rogers High School principal Nikki Dennis says the school's Art Deco 1300-seat auditorium is haunted. In 1974, um, one of the band teachers, um, while conducting um, a concert on stage, happened to die of a heart attack. And although the custodians say they've heard and seen things in the auditorium over the years, the principal says she hasn't. But that doesn't mean she's a skeptic. There are times when I've been in the building where the hair on my arms stand up for a minute. The Brady Theater downtown is also believed to house the spirit of Italian opera singer Enrico Caruso, who died in 1921, and possibly the spirit of a worker who died after falling off a ladder. Down the street, a country western star named Bob Wills and two female spirits are said to roam the halls of Kane's Ballroom. But one of the most haunted theaters in Tulsa, Tulsa Little Theater, where multiple spirits dwell, like a former director named George. He does things like hide microphones, turn lights off and on, which we do have that going on. There's no explanation. You come in, they were all off when we left at night, come back in, the stage lights are on in the morning. It's said that he died during a rehearsal, sitting in seat number three on the third row. A little girl named Sarah also haunts the Tulsa Little Theater. She had a dance recital, ran out the double doors, went across the street, and got hit by a car, and supposedly passed away right there. Owner Bryce Hill says ghost hunters confirm her presence in a photo of his nephew taken inside the theater, where the faint figure of a little girl in a dress can be seen standing next to him. Hill says one of the creepiest things to happen, footsteps being heard on the roof like someone running across. The only problem, there's no ladder or stairs for anyone to possibly get up there. That really freaked everybody out. The place kind of vacated really quickly. Still in all, these spirits seem to be good and are just part of life for these performing arts venues across the city.